Recently, I just acquired a new flat car with pup trailers that uh, MTH has been making for years. Um, they just started releasing these uh, new line of pup trailers with flat, uh, flat cars with the pup trailers on them. And I have uh, three different um, older ones you guys have probably seen in my videos. And when I got the new one, I noticed that the new ones are different than the old ones, and I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys a comparison between both of them. Both the flat car trailers and the pup trailers themselves are different. So it's, it's, uh, it's interesting to uh, see the differences. So uh, let's, get, let's get started on this. So starting with the uh, flat cars themselves, as you can see, the, um, at first glance, the decking is different. On the older version, this one here, you have the imitation metal grate decking. Um, you can you can see the uh, the grip plates um, on either side, and then over here, you've got the imitation wood decking. So the the, the cars themselves are completely different um, for the main part of the uh, flat cars. Also, the uh, on the new uh, flat cars, the um, the wheel chocks for the wheels on the trailers, the pup trailers, are here, and on the old car, there's no wheel chocks, but there's like this thing in the middle that keeps the wheels from keeps the wheels lined up on the trailer, but there's no uh, chocks to hold the wheels in place. Even the sides of the cars are a little different. You can see the, the, um, how it's different, the way the cars, the cars are completely different, as you can see. Even the uh, fifth wheel, uh, one of the things that, one of the first things I noticed the difference was the uh, fifth wheel that holds the front of the trailer in place um, is, is a lot different. If you look at the old style, uh, it's fixed, it doesn't move. Um, this this moves uh, up and down, but that's all it does. It's it's a, got a fixed height. So the fifth wheel on the new trailer is actually more complicated. Um, the plate here on top still rotates back and forth, and it's bigger. It's more square. Uh, but the height on this um, can be changed, which I thought was interesting. So there's a little screw. I don't know if you can see it in the video here. There's a little thumb screw right here that when you twist it, if you turn it counterclockwise, it lowers the platform, the fifth wheel, if you, if you turn it with your, with your fingers. It lowers this. I don't know if you can see it going lower, but it's a very small amount. You have to turn it a lot to move it a little bit, but you can see this is moved down a little bit. So you can actually set the height of the fifth wheel and you can make it so that it's completely flat. So I twisted this uh, counterclockwise and made it almost completely flat to the deck of the, of the car. So you can raise and lower the height of the fifth wheel, which is kind of cool. I don't know why you would do it. Maybe if you don't have any trailers on it and you want to bring the fifth wheel down, I guess you can, it gives you that option to do it. So I turned the little screw clockwise and brought the uh, fifth wheel back up. But you can see there's the handle where the screw is. There's a little screw underneath here that, the, that one of the legs of the fifth wheel is connected to. So as you screw it, it moves it up and down the screw and raises this platform up. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Now, uh, comparing the two pup trailers, uh, I thought that they were going to be the same, but they're actually a lot different. So looking at this shot here, you can see that the newer trailer here in the foreground is longer than the old trailer. And the height is it's slightly higher. Here's a uh, better shot showing you the height of the trailers. You can see that the, the older version is slightly higher maybe about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch higher. And another thing you guys probably noticed is that the old trailer is square. So if you look at it, 
it's like a, well, it's a rectangle basically. That's the, the, the shape of the trailer. And if you looked at the new one, the front of it here is curved. So this is a more retro style trailer. Um, I really like the detail on the new trailer a lot better. I think it's more realistic. The old trailer just looks like a box on wheels. This looks more like a trailer. Um, you even got the, um, the, the lights here, the imitation lights on the trailer right here and here. That's a nice detail. There's some nice detail going along the top here. And then even in the back, this bar right here, it's hard to see, but it's separately applied. There's, a, there's the, uh, lock, the lock to lock the doors on the back of the trailer. This bar right here is separately applied. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so nice detail work. Underneath, you've got the spare tire here. That actually moves uh, in its holder. So some really nice detail, and it's got uh, the rubber mud flaps in the back behind the tires. And even the, the uh, I've been calling that other thing a fifth wheel, but this is actually called the fifth wheel. <laughs> uh, the, uh, so I don't know what, the, what the, the thing I was talking about on the flat car is called. Um, it's the, it holds the, um, the trailer in place in the front. But this is actually the fifth wheel, and there's even more detail here. The, uh, the, the, this like a little wheel here that turns, and you've got some nice detail right here. So it's a nice detail, and then compare it to the old one. There's no spare tire. This, is, this folds up and down, the fifth wheel, but there's no mud flaps here in the back. Um, there's no detail with the lights. These are not separately applied the locking mechanism. So there's not as much detail in the older version. So I've got a second new version of this, um, of these pup trailers that I still have boxed up. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to run my other three old ones with the two new ones that I have. Um, I really love these pup trailers. I like the new ones. They make them so colorful now with all the graphics. Um, and I've got four more of these on order uh, that I'm still waiting for. Uh, so I'm going to have a total of nine pup trailers, the three of the old ones and six of the new ones. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, completing my collection. But in the meantime, I'll go ahead and run uh, my five pup trailers around the layout so you guys can see it, uh, them running together on the layout. So enjoy.